Three, two, one. And welcome into the first episode of Naptown Sports. I'm Sam. My co hosts joining me tonight are Michael and Charles. And we're coming at you from Indianapolis, Bloomington, and Kansas. And we're not going to tell which one of us is where because you don't get Just to know that. Guessing. That's you personal can't let information. the government know where you are. If the government knew where I was, I'd, I'd be gone. I'd be disappeared. I've done some bad yeah. shit. All right. Well, let's get into it. Uh, today we're going to do a uh, NBA draft. Uh, any NBA players, each of us going to put together a 12-man team, and we're going to talk about who made the best picks. Uh, how do you guys want to determine the order? Questions one. What are we grading this off of? Is it like comparatively, like if our teams played in a game, who we would, who would Yeah, be? yeah. Just current players? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, no past. Okay. No. How are we deciding draft order? That's what I wanted to ask. I say we do a three-way. That's something we should have figured out earlier. But... I don't care. Well, I, I don't care. I don't care. Three-way rock paper scissors right now. Well, as it's your channel, Sam, you obviously should go last. You know, just because no. you're, you're such a nice no. guy. Three-way well, rock paper scissors. Last right one now. even be that bad. Can yeah, because it is a wrap around. Yeah. Rock paper scissors. Ready? This is gonna be great for the people who can't see yeah, this no, because no, this is no, an audio. Everybody. But three, two, one. Whoa, wait. That's scissors, scissors. scissors. You say rock, you paper, scissors. One, two, yeah, you go rock, you paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, I, don't, paper, scissors, shoot. I don't need this right now. Okay? You don't need the It's ASMR. been a long day. I woke up at 6 p.m. Okay? Don't need this. It's currently, what, 743? Yep. 743. <laughs> Hour forty five already already starting to slow down. I'm gonna need one of those uh wait no, you were up at noon today. Oh no, I you was went not. back to sleep. I lied. <laughs> you went back to sleep. I lied. I was really hoping we did not do that at noon. Okay. Anyway, we're just you know what? Everybody say a number on the count of three. I'm thinking of a number, whoever whichever one of you guys gets this, it's either one or two. Uh gets to go first. All right. I'm one, taking one. Two, three. Okay, Mike's got one. Oh, we're not three, gonna... I guess three. No, it's out of two. Okay, you know what? Well, Chuck didn't nope. choose a number between one and nope. two. Mike goes first. Hey, hey, three is my favorite number, so okay. I don't care that it was out of two. Mike goes first. Okay, okay Mike, now you think of a number between me and Chuck. I'm taking – or Chuck, I'm going to let you choose between one gonna and two. Do, Chuck, we're going to do – Chuck, Chuck, your tails. It's, okay, tails. It was tails. Do you want two or three? I'm taking three. There you uh, go. Idiot. Sandwiched. Idiot. Well, you so could, just so we're clear, we're basing it off like, like right now. Yeah. Like I don't have to worry about the future, like next no, couple no. years. It's not a franchise well, or anything. It's, this I'm team just, has to play one game. I'm just gonna do players I, I love watching. Okay. Well, well round you're lose. Mike, you go first. What do you want? Who do you want? <laughs> well, excuse me. Uh, I think there's a very clear number one overall pick, and I think uh, everyone knows that Alex Caruso is just at the top of his game right now. Right. Did I say two names there? Car- I think I was thinking of Karooks and Caruso. I think you yeah. went into Rodney hey, Karooks a little bit. Yeah, that's no, a, that's actually, a- I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go LeBron James. Pretty, you know, <laughs> You're so the basic. Second, second best player in NBA history. Uh, uh, best player in NBA Fort history, Thunder first of all. Yeah. Best player uh, in NBA play history. For, play for the freaking Dallas Cowboys if you wanted to right now. Best player best in NBA history. history. I, watched, I watched the Jordan doc and I don't even care. Best. I'm picking. I'm. Uh, I'm. You're wrong. I'm picking Steph Curry. You're taking Curry. I'm taking Curry. I mean, <laughs> he's he's balling right now, and if he had a team around him, which he's gonna have a great. I know team Chuck has him, something to say. It's gonna be that. great. Chuck say has something. this weird thing say for something. Steph Curry. I got no. He is, it's cool. I mean, his shots are really really low IQ shots. It makes me hate the game of basketball when he shoots. But they go in. They go but, uh, in. They do go. I don't in. know what we're talking about. Like you're mad at the shot selection of shots that are going in most of the time. All yeah. I care about is that That's it looks facts. cool, and it looks cool. Yeah. All right. Pick, sure. You got two That's your shot. opinion. You all right. Two. I'm hey, gonna. Wait, wait, wait. You can't just put Curry. I can't. That could be Seth Curry for all. It's I know. definitely Seth. Okay. Uh, okay. If anything, it would have been Dell. You can have a whole episode just talking, debating who's the best Curry. All right. Well, oh, I, I think I'd say Dell. Yeah. Probably. All right, my first two picks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go pretty, pretty, pretty big here. Just yeah. give me Anthony Davis and Nikola Jokic. Oh my God! 
So, um, first Your of all, team is big. <laughs> first of all, uh, bad, just bad picks. Bad. Okay. I don't know how they would play together. They would not play well together. Jokic they wouldn't. Okay. <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> What are you guys doing here? I mean, I'm going to put. Hey, I like my <laughs> combo. Are you having a stroke right now, Sam? I don't know. Call an ambulance. No, I'm picking KD. Easy money sniper. Easy Lame. shmoney. I have you, Steph are you, and KD. Are you, picking, are you picking Clay next? Like, what's going next, on? Next, I'm picking Clay, even though I think we're not. I think we're doing this season, so that'd be Is pretty Andrew bad. Bogut still in the league? <laughs> He's in Australia, <laughs> man. I picked David Lee. He's in Australia. Right. Well, I got LeBron. If I need him to play point guard, he can. He can play any position on the court, really. Yeah. I, it's, I got. I got. I can do whatever I want with this pick. But what I do want is I want someone who I can look at and say, you know what? They're gonna knock down that shot. If I need a big time three, I'm like, I'm giving it to this person. Oh, don't do, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it to him. Man got snubbed. As Don't do it to starter. him. You know who I'm talking about. Don't do it to him. Dame Dalla. Dame, Dame Dalla. Dillard. I like it. That is a dirty combo I got I like off the bat. I, like I got it a LeBron. Lot. I got Dame Dalla. I got my point guard. I my probably small forward. I might play him at the four. I got to think of another pick here, though. Dame Dalla. <sighs> this is tough, man. Just uh... Fuck it, dude. I'm playing this man at the four. Honestly, shocked you fell this far now. That I, I know who you're going to pick. I'm taking the Greek freak. <laughs> yeah, you have terrible shooting. Giannis, and I think I've already won this draft. You have terrible shooting. Dame Dalla? Yeah, but LeBron and Giannis, not good. That's why I have Dame. Giannis is just going to bully his way to the rim. And then it's like, so... who are you gonna have? if you have someone guarding Giannis, it's like, okay, who's going to guard LeBron? And remember, this is one game, so – as long as they're playing a season, like injury shouldn't really affect. Chuck somehow picked two big men who weren't as good as a big man. I'm gonna about, I'm about Look, to pick. I think we can all agree in the first two rounds, Chuck's team is looking the weakest. I'm picking Joel Embiid. I can't believe you didn't pick Embiid as one of your two big men. Kind Chuck. of a pander. The thing is, I, I I didn't want to take the ball out of Jokic's hand, and I wanted his playmaking. Joel is a black hole, but I think partially that's just because circumstance and Billy. Well, I mean, he's got he's got shooters around him actually. Instead of Ben Simmons, who can't. Hit well, I know, but anything. that he is their offense. It's go through Joel, and then if they're doubling or whatever, focusing on him, kick it out to Seth. He or, could play. He yeah. could play well. I'm not saying it's kick it Steph out to Ben Katie. Simmons. The Seventy Sixers scored like 112 last night, and Embiid scored 50 of those. That means I'm getting 50 in this game off of Embiid alone, baby. Well, who do you think has a grosser jump shot, Markel Fultz on the Seventy Sixers or Ben Simmons? Honestly, Ben Simmons doesn't look – it's never looked horrible. I don't know. It doesn't know. go in. It doesn't go in, though. That's true. Look, I'm I'm just, just, you know what? I, I'm, I'm, I'm upset I took a jab at Markel. I like Markel. I'm just surprised it's nobody's taking Markel nobody's taking Leandrolo yet. Can oh, I pick he, The best ball. Can you pick LeVar? <laughs> I don't know, man. Hey, he would intimidate the other team. That's not fair. You can't pick legends. Them's facts. All right, Chuck. All right. Go ahead. You're in a real hole right now. So my far. next pick, I'm yeah, gonna. Big, man. You gotta... yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take another play who. You know, can hit some clutch shots. I'm gonna take uh, Kawhi Leonard. I like it. I like it. You got and one then... more. See, I'm really torn right here. Like, do I go with the point guard? Or do I go ahead and get myself uh, no guards right now? But there yeah. are a few guards out there that are still like damn near S tier. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm just, oh, I'm I've got to take. Don't take him. Don't you dare. I, don't gonna, you dare. <laughs> don't do it. I'm between so two real right now. Take Zach Levine here. Yeah, that's what a real Bulls fan would pick. And Sam, Sam would take well, see, the bonus. The, his... the problem is, I, or the <laughs> yeah, thing is, I know Zach. <laughs> Zach is gonna fall. Okay, let's take Zach. Mess give with me, him. give me, give me Luka Doncic. <laughs> what an idiot again! So stupid, dude. I don't think you have out of your four players right now. You don't have a person under like what six, 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 seven. It's fine, <laughs> guys. I can't believe you let me do this. 
I'm, my defense is going to hurt for it a little bit, but I'm taking Bradley Beal. Think yeah, about I think there are better guards out there. Curry, Bradley Beal, KD, and Embiid. I just don't even have a power forward. I probably should have taken Beal over Doncic. That's it's what whatever. Yeah. Ah, Doncic is better than Beal. You could have used a guard because you have four forwards. Sorry, three oh, forwards. Doncic, can, he'll play PG for me. It's a tall-ass team. Okay, you guys aren't really explaining your picks, which is fine. I mean, if anything, I'm just painting a clear picture why my team's going to win. Go ahead, pick. What are we looking at? We, I, you need a two or an, and a five. I don't. I don't need anything. I can. I can do what I want. Um, with that being said, with the lineup I have, I could go for a. Ooh. Oh wait, I have back-to-back picks here. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Um. Okay. First one, I'm gonna go James Harden. <laughs> um. You know, I think. Bradley Beal's having a better year. I think a lot of that's just because if you, if you put Harden on the – if you switch them, right, I think Harden's having a better year and Beal's kind of like the third option on that Nets team. Hey, Mike. But in there, Mike? you can make an argument that he's the first option. Mike, um, who on your team's going to play unselfish basketball? Um, LeBron. <laughs> LeBron. Yeah. LeBron will do what he needs to do. If LeBron's your least selfish player, you've got He's a problem. He's getting a lot of Giannis. No, James can pass, too. Just go ahead. Pick again. All right. I need a center to round this team out. I'm not lying. There. I can't believe Jokic went that early. I would have loved to have Mr. Nikola join the squad. I think uh, I think another Nikola would be the pick here if I was picking. Really? Miritich. Uh, well, not Miritich. I think he's in Europe. Um, <laughs> I think Vucevic is the best available center. I think he's having a good year. I was thinking about it. Like he's dirty. Yoke, he's so good. Davis. He's so good. There's just not. A, there's kind of a drop off. I think. Oh uh, no! Whoa, 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 whoa! Let's put him in. Oh, there with them. I should have prepared. I did not. Is there just, a clock? Just make a pick. Yeah. It's a zero. Mm-hmm. No, I don't know about that. No, I don't want all-time centers. Five. You're not allowed to look stuff up. I'm not looking anything up. I'm not allowed to look stuff up. This is out of the head. Out of the really? head? Well, you really? didn't say that. Five. I think, no. I think Vucevic and Bam are your two best. Four. Ooh, I like – you know what? I'm picking Bam out of five. <laughs> I'm talking about unselfish players. This man's going to get me 10-10-10 every night with this team. He's going to get boards. He's, he's going to do all the dirt. Out. And he's going to get me dunks. That's all I need so, to do. He's going to do that. I have four really good shooters picking a power forward here. This is tough, you know? Uh, it's tough. I mean, what are you going to do? It's tough. But um, I think there's a clear pick here. Grab another shooter. Grab another playmaker. Grab another defender. And I can put him at the four, or I can put KD at the four. Kind of interchangeable. I'm going to pick Jason Tatum. Ooh. That's what I thought you were going to get. I'm a big Tatum guy. All right. He's so good. You know, right, to check. round out my starting lineup, I'm going to go with the heart here and not the head. Oh, yeah. Gonna Zach choose. Levine. There it is. Wait, you don't know that is Zach Levine. It could be Jimmy B. Who is it? Who is it? Could be Jimmy B. Who is it? It's Zach Levine. Okay. I mean, just seeing that man play night after night, it's just – I got to choose him, man. Yeah, and it's his last year as a bull, too. So. I think starting lineup okay. so far, my you team's at to. one, Mike's is at two, and Chuck's is at three. I feel like everyone here would say they have the best starting lineup. I think I, I do. And I frankly, don't. I think for it to work better, I mean, I'm not going to give away draft strategy here, but I can definitely move some of these players to the bench and just, like, have them run my bench unit. The bench it's units are still going to be stacked. I think Mike has the most versatile team. You'll be able to switch a lot. Okay, but like. who is the best shooting team? I'm sorry. It would be hey, your team. You do. Yeah. yeah. And um, I'm sorry, how do you win basketball games? Do you outscore defense. your opponents? You play defense. Defense I think wins you championships. outscore your opponents. How are you going to deal with LeBron and Giannis on the same team? Uh, Tatum and KD. And then Embiid uh, in the post. You think Embiid is going to guard Jokic and Davis? No, I think. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not prepared for your team to do well. I'm good. I'm just going to say defending the, the, Michael's the team. of Chuck would definitely at this point no bench at all. Would just have Davis and Jokic feasting on either Tatum or K. 
Katie in the paint. I think Katie can guard Nikola. I don't know about that. Whatever. Chuck, you got another pick. Get your sixth man or whatever. All right. For my sixth man, I'm going to go with a really undervalued, underappreciated guy who I, I love watching play. I'm going to go with Chris Middleton. Don't laugh. It feels very early to that's pick such Chris. A, that's such okay. a Charlie. That is I, such a Charlie pick. I, I, I picked uh, Zach Levine in my starting lineup. Okay. That's fine. Okay. I'm not saying he's bad. I mean, uh, as a six man, it I, don't feels, know. I guess I don't watch enough Chris Middleton if I'm being totally honest. It yeah. feels super early. I would have taken Evan Fournier. <laughs> I want to pick a backup center, and uh, he can put him, he can be in my starting lineup if Chuck plays big. I'm going to pick uh, Colin Three Towns. His defense um, sucks he's, too. He's a big man though, and he can also shoot. Every person on my team can shoot. Yeah, but he can't defend. Oh, can he shoot? I think so. Him. You just said he could start and he could defend one of my bigs, but he better. can't. I said he could defend better. Yeah. Okay, is it me? Yep. Yeah. Right, boys. I'm uh, I'm gonna pick two guards here. Do it. Uh, yeah. I need some shooting off the bench. That's why the first person I'm gonna pick is Devin Booker. Okay. You like Devin? Nice. I, I don't hate it. Bench, he's just gonna spread the court well. He's gonna be. I like it. Place. And kind of in a similar thing. I know they play the same position, but I feel confident playing one a point guard, or you know, just not. You know, they'll work it out, figure it out. I'm picking Spider. I'm picking Donovan Mitchell. Man's like got it. bunnies for days. I think I just got two the best two guards left available in this draft. Not and sure. I'm feeling good. Feeling good about the bench so far. That's a that's you a did not get it. the two best I, guards available. I, I do like yeah. I, I like yeah. Booker and Donovan. With how they're playing this season, Donovan is one of the best guards available. Um, this isn't based off historical performance, but uh, this season, uh, he's pretty good. He can defend. He can also shoot. I'm picking Paul George. That's did a he, good he, pick. Did he make the All Star lineup? Uh, he was almost a did starter. He's a reserve. I think he's a reserve. Yeah. I mean, I, I like it. I think. Damn, you guys are going heavy on the forwards. I he's should. a he's a two three. Yeah, but he's more of a three. All right, so my, my last pick, my six-man pick, maybe isn't going to be my true six-man, looking at – you're just thinking about who's left. Uh, I think my true six-man is going to be who I pick here, which is definitely going to be Trey Young. Mm, I like it. I was That's who I was thinking about. about. I was thinking about Trey, but I think Trey and no. Dave Pollard's game look similar enough. If he could just – I have defend. a lot of defense. He's so the worst defender in the league. I have a lot of defense. On my team so far, so having him as the sixth man, I think, isn't too bad. He's the worst defender in the league. Who? Trey Young. Trey? Yeah, um, yeah. He's not good. Just statistically, he is the worst. And then, let's see. I'm surprised nobody's picked Kyrie yet. It's been really good Dude, this that year. That actually is crazy. Holy shit. That is crazy. I um I probably should pick him over Trey, but I got Trey now, so it's okay. I'm gonna go with someone right here who's having a really good season. Uh, good. still going wing heavy with uh Jalen Brown. Ah, I like it. Ooh, I, was, I like it. I was thinking out, about yeah. him when I picked George. Here's the question: I think you can make a debate now. Is he who's who's the go-to guy? It's, it's it's still Tatum. It's Tatum. I don't think I don't think Jalen Brown plays like the. He's having a hell of a year. He also, is. Also, lately Kemba's been out playing Jalen a little bit too. Hmm. Well, Kemba was on uh, someone else's podcast recently, and uh, you know, players always play well after talking to him. Who? It was uh, the KOT four Q guy. Oh. Okay. You know what? You know what? I'm going to pick with my heart here, but also my brain. My brain and heart are both telling me the same thing. They're telling me the earth is flat, okay? They're telling me the earth is flat. They're telling me, hey, I don't want to play with LeBron. I want to be the number one. And then I'm going to go somewhere, 
and eventually become the number three. That's right. Give me Kyrie Irving. I see. I think you're not looking at it. Is that's going to just uh, bring unwanted turmoil into your locker room? Oh, my locker room's fun. No, I don't think it is. You got a lot of characters in there. That's what you want. Okay. Katie's going to calm Kyrie down. It's fine. Uh, Steph's very calming presence. Beal's going to be happy to be on a good team for once. And I don't really see too many locker room issues with this team. You don't? No. Also, it's one game. I don't think a locker room can derail leading up to one game. Right. Okay. Well, I think I'll pick another player that probably should have went earlier in this draft. But, you know, just fell to me. So I'm going to pick him. Uh, I'm taking Jimmy Buckets. I'm taking Jimmy Butler. I like it. Having a hell of – he's had – he started off slow. I think he started off hurt this year. But his past, I think, like three games, he's gotten triple doubles. He's been beasting and feasting. He's just another glue guy for my team. So here's the thing. Uh, on your bench, you've so far picked three shooting guards? No, I can put Jimmy at the three. I, I guess, but you've picked three guards, none of them point guards. I guess you could put Donovan at the one, maybe. Yeah, there's not much playmaking there. Well, Jimmy can playmake if he has to. Mike, playmake. Mike, this is already a center. I'm going to give you some advice. I think you should pick either Vucevic or Sabonis. Well, see, I was thinking four, but now you're in my head that I should go to back up center. Fuck it, I'm going to bonus. Do it. I think I'm going to pick with my heart here. Yeah. I think he's one of the more underrated stars in the NBA, but it's at the point now where everyone says he's an underrated star, so, so he's is no he underrated? underrated. It's an entirely different conversation, but he's having a hell of a year. Somehow, Somehow has the most triple doubles in Pacers history. He's on my he's fantasy like basketball seven. team. Which is really sad. Um, playing, playing well for my fantasy team. Yeah, I'm taking some bonus. I'm sure Sam will be like, stupid pick will take Vucevic, but you know. No, I already have a backup center. That's why I said you should get one. Nah. That's, that's a good pick. He's, he's good. Uh, it, it fills a hole. Yeah, I mean, my fantasy basketball team is named after him. I have a Saboner. So, um... <laughs> Wait, I didn't know that. That's, that's pretty good. Thank you. So my backups have a backup five, backup one, and a backup two or three. You know what? I mean, I got a lot of good players, but <laughs> you got to sell tickets. You got to generate revenue, generate hype. You got to have a man who can jump so high at such a weight that you're like, huh, how does he do that? Huh, it's incredible. Give me, give me the young goat, maybe the most hyped player ever. Give me Zion Williamson. Thoughts? I was uh, definitely just about to pick him. If, ah. this, if this draft was like, oh, next three years, yeah. I think there are some fours that I would take ahead of him that are still on the board. But I think he's definitely made improvements this year. And I, he's going to be like a Charles Barkley type, in my opinion. Here's the thing. Um, I think he plays well with, with uh, Carl Anthony Towns. Yeah. He, I mean, Carl sure. can spread and then Zion can dunk. Because that's what my team's going to be doing. Dunking on you. Are we picking mm. 10 players? Uh, or 12? 12. Full roster. <laughs> All right. Well, full roster's 15, Michael. I feel like you should know that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Then I want to go with some, some defense here. Someone is having a great year. Again, like I guess that all they're all having great years. Someone's having a uh, breakout season, as you would say. Uh, at the four position, all by himself uh, in Detroit. Don't know why he did that to himself, but I'm picking Jeremy Grant. <laughs> what an idiot! You're an idiot. Jeremy Grant's just a hard person to sell. I know he's having a great, I, uh, but it's Jeremy Grant. I wouldn't have picked him until much later. Much I, later. You could have gotten him very late. Could have gotten but, him way see, later. See, I already know who I want very late, who would be even worse to pick right now. Okay. So you have a one, two, three, and a four. You need a five. And yep, I think there's and one clear pick here. It's Vucevic. That's gonna it's gonna be boots a bit. Yeah, or, it's easy. Yeah. Nicola. Give me Nicola. Nicola. You have both Nicolas. Interesting. Was that your strategy going in? It, it, it was not, but I do like that uh, I have both Nicolas. Mm-hmm. So I need to back up three, and I'm looking here, and I'm not saying too many exciting names. 
But you know what? He's having a great year. He's balling. He's everybody's like, oh, that's a bad contract. Nah. Not at all. He had a rap come out when he was he was a butler that was absolutely terrible. Yeah, that's right. God, I'm it. grabbing Dordan Hayward. I knew it's you were doing so it. Early for him. It's not early. It's the right time. That's a perfect pick. Seemed way too early. That's there was an early pick. pick. Your turn. Okay. You need well, a, uh, either a one or a, I think you need a four. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Well, I'm gonna go with a four and a one. I'll start with the four first. Uh, kind of came on the scene last year. Started off slow this year, but picking it back up. And I think he feels a need for my team. I'm picking Spicy P. Pascal Siakam. Uh, He's so bad. Uh, he's having a down year, but I still think he's a great player. He's so I bad. See, he's not. He's Terrible. Not. You're, just, you're sounding like an idiot right now. He's bad. I, I think he's a great In player. In high-pressure situations, he's, he's bad. He's bad. I, that's, I don't need him in high-pressure situations. He's, he's like, my, the what pick is this? He's not going to finish the game. He's, like, he's so he's bad gonna... in the playoffs. So bad. This he's so bad on the He's on my bench. He's not like fucking. He's on my bench. I don't need him to drop. You know what? Just move on. Just move on. Just 25. know you've made a terrible pick and a grave yeah, mistake. I don't, I don't need him to drop 20. I'm sorry. Who do you have protecting the rim off your backups? Nobody. Right now? Nobody. Who you, Sam, who do you have protecting the rim? Uh, Cat and Zion. Cat? Embiid. And Zion. No, I'm talking about backups. Okay. Well, I'm going with a backup point guard. 11th man. I don't like a lot of the point guards left on the board, if, and I'm doing this just because you know, one one you know one set of games. Oh no! I'm ring chasing. He's oh, ring no. chasing. I'm picking Chris don't Paul. Do it. Oh, I thought you were gonna pick oh. Westbrook. Nah, he's having a terrible year. I'm picking Chris Paul. I need a facilitator off the bench, and this is my man. Uh, I, like I like that. Pick. I like it a lot. I like that. All right, so Mike, you have one more after this. I have two more. These are just kind of just like extra. They're like, hey, they're there. You can have him. And I realized I do need a good defensive man who can move into the starting lineup if he needs to or if he doesn't. Uh, we've all forgotten about him. I've intentionally steered you away from him so I could get him so late. He's a man who needs no introduction, but he's willing to uh, to lick a mic, to shut down the entire NBA, if you will. Rudy Gobert. I didn't understand the references, but uh, literally before you even picked, I was like, if somehow Rudy Gobert can get back to me, I would love that. Oh, my gosh. I just finessed the league. That's your third center. He's I'm, playing him. Play. I'm playing him if I'm playing Chuck. I'm also going for a center right here. <laughs> I just finessed you guys so bad. I'm also going for a center right here. Uh, probably one of my favorite centers to watch play. You know, a blocks leader every year. Can shoot the three, oh, no. but can't do anything else on offense. No. <laughs> I'm picking Miles no. Turner. I, I mean, for As my what he wanted man. to do, he's going to do that. That's my so bad. Man. But, yeah, he's not going to do – again, Chuck, we're, we're getting late in the draft. These are players they are not Okay, gonna but I'm going to read you some of the players yeah. you've picked Miles Turner over. Oh, Bra- I know Brandon Ingram, I, I Russell know Westbrook. Players. Ben oh, Simmons, uh, Julius oh. Randle, mm-hmm. Fred Van Vliet, Malcolm Brogdon, mm-hmm. Tobias Harris, De'Aaron mm-hmm. Fox, Shy Gilgis Alexander, John Morant. Come on! Don't forget a uh, Jamal Murray in there. I'm not gonna. No, I'm not gonna put Murray in there. He's too inconsistent. All right. Well, you got one more. Finish up your team. This is also a homer pick. The number one, youngest MVP ever, built from the city of Chicago. Going with Derrick oh, Rose. No. <laughs> Chuck, you realize He's he choosing had... with his heart now, boys. Chuck, you realize he had four points the other night as That's a starter? That's fine. That's fine. That's so bad. Wow, Chuck, you really derailed this in a terrible way. I'm just sitting here. My team's already going to win it. This is just icing on the cake for me. And you know what? He might not be the best shooter, but he's going to get you them other stats. He's going to do what he needs to do. For the team to win. You know what? No. I don't want Westbrook and I don't want Simmons. Nope. No. That's I, I don't like them. I just don't like how they play. I'm gonna pick a young man who I thought should have gone gone number one overall. 
a young man who had to play at Murray State. That's right. I'm picking Ja Morant. Again, they're not like going to play that much, but yeah, that's that's a good pick. He's fast. Like, I speed um, so like, when he picks someone that's a good pick, you're like, oh, he's not going to play that much. But when I pick someone who's not a good pick, you're like, that's a terrible you know, Sam pick. Sam just likes to yeah. critique. Look, I was between – when I pivoted away from Simmons and Westbrook, it was between him and De'Aaron. But it's very clearly – clear that you were going to choose D-Rose if I didn't, so. No. I don't know why we're having this conversation. So bad. All right, Mike, go ahead. Right. Last I pick. still need a shot blocker. Mr. Irrelevant. And boy, I'll tell you what, boys. I'm looking at the list, a list of shot blockers here, and it's it's there's not a lot left. I, if I were you, I mean, I, I'm i picking something. Is Son Whiteside's on the board? Brandon, no. God, no. Get Brandon Ingram. Mm. But he's not a shot blocker. Andre Drummond? Could go Andre. I could go Clint Capella. No, go Andre if you're between those two. I could go Mitchell Robinson. No, get Andre. If, you need a, go if you're getting a center, get Andre. Could go the Unicorn? No, he's been terrible this year. Uh, you said shot blocker? You want the Unicorn? Um, I'm going to go Andre Drummond. I just that's feel a good pick. Feels a need. If I need defense, I can throw him in there. And that's all I'll rebounding. Do. And that's all I'll tell him to do. I will tell him Andre. You're okay. not allowed to shoot the ball on offense. So we have our teams. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna read them through. Michael has uh, LeBron, Damian Lillard, Giannis, James Harden, Bam Adebayo, Devin Booker, Donovan Mitchell, Jimmy Buckets, Demontis Sabonis, Pascal Siakam, CP3, and Andre Drummond. That's a solid solid team. I'd put him at second after my. I put him at first, but after my team, my team after that, uh, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, Joel Embiid, Bradley Beal, Jason Tatum. Carl Anthony Towns, Paul George, Kyrie Irving, Zion Williamson, Gordon Hayward, Rudy Gobert, and John Morant. That's a good team. That's so balanced, such shooting, good defensive centers late, so good. And then Charles, Anthony Davis, Nikola Jokic, Kawhi Leonard, Luka Doncic, Zachariah Levine, Chris Middleton, Trey Young, Jalen Brown, Jeremy Grant, Nikola Vucevic, and then two terrible picks, Miles Turner and Derrick Rose. Didn't have to get on my team like that. The Miles, Turner, the Miles Turner one's a tough one to explain. Also, I the understand the Zach. Uh, the well, Zach see, the, pr- the thing with Miles Turner is, um, I I don't want Mike to have someone who can defend down low. So Andre I wanted Drummond's, to take Andre Drummond's better. If you wanted to take, yeah, but it, no, if you wanted to take the eleventh man or the twelfth man to have someone down low, and that's all he did, he'd probably choose Turner. He Just never. He never would have. Very closely came to somehow getting with the Mister Irrelevant pick, Rudy Gobert. He never would have chosen Turner, and no, you wouldn't, Michael. I was manipulating you the whole time. Um, Got him. Two picks away, or was it like three? three. I picked him as my second like four. Tallest. It was one, two, one, two, it was three. three. It was four. Yeah. Okay. Look, I think well, I've top the bottom of the best team. I think I, I have the best player. I, I think, think I have Mike, the best two players. No. Well, Mike has the best team. No. 100%. That is categorically player. untrue. Okay, Sam, let's just look. If our two teams played, who would win? Mine. Scroll up. Scroll up. Mine. Let me see our rosters. Okay. Let's just go position by position. My point, point guard. Game dollar, I win. Or no, I'll, I'll, win. I'll give that to you as a tie. Curry's going to do more. I don't know. It just depends on the night. Okay. You know what? I'll take the win. If you want to give me the win, I'll take the win. I'd say as of late, Curry's having the better year. Okay. Uh, What a point guard. Shooting guard. Who do you have? Harden? James Harden. Bradley Beal. I'll give that to you. Take it Harden. Yeah. Three. LeBron James. And KD. I think that's a tie. Nope. It's LeBron. No. No, 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 no. It's LeBron James. No. LeBron James. No. LeBron James is like an automatic win. So you'd rather play Tatum at the four than KD? KD's definitely taller. Uh, you don't know. Way, no, 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 no. Three Tatum. Tatum. Three Tatum. I'm going to put the Tatum at three, and you can win with LeBron. So you're up two to one right now. At the four, I think KD's better than Giannis. 100%. This season, he's been better. Thank you. 100%. Now it's two to two, and it comes down to center, and it's Bam out of bio against Joel Embiid, and we all know that's Embiid. I mean, but again, can't they're doing different a, things. For and Beach should be the MVP scoring center right now. Bam's just 
I'll like. give you Embiid's, Embiid's. Yeah, Embiid's having an MVP. Okay, and then starting five, I've got three of the five. I mean, we can go bench, but I don't think we need to. I, I think power forward's a little sus, and I think you two are a little crazy to automatically say Giannis is worse than KD. Uh, really? I'm crazy. I'm just correct. And that's just how I feel. Look, it's fine. We won. So would you say, in my personal opinion, the top two in the league are LeBron James and Kate, Kevin Durant? Would you say the top two are LeBron James and Giannis? No. Mike? I honestly, I think that's why I conceded it because it's like, I think KD is better than Giannis just because he's a better shooter. I'll tell but, you right now, Giannis. Are you saying Giannis, Giannis might not be in my. In a league of his own. Giannis, 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 Giannis might not be in my top five. He might not be in my top five. Did you have a weird thing for people who can't shoot very well? Not for. I, I say he's not. He's this not year? Top five. This year's this not top year, five. But I think overall he's Give me a top LeBron. Five give me Dame. Give me Curry. Give me KD. Give me Embiid. And give me Jokic over him this year. There, okay. I'll put Giannis at seventh, but that's the highest I'll put him this year. Seventh. It's a bold take. For this I mean, year, take, it's an accurate take. Well. It's an for accurate this year, take. I agree with that. Thank you. All right. Well, you know what? I think uh, that's good. I think it's time to wrap it up. Any final thoughts? Um. Yeah. Anthony Davis is scoring 50 on Sam's team. No. Uh, 100%. If this is a hype, Chuck's team would win. <laughs> Not even true. I've got Embiid, Carl Anthony def- Towns, and – uh, and uh, Rudy Gobert. I feel like I definitely have the best defensive team. Sam, in his mind, thinks he's won this draft in every capacity. Yeah, not a single, not a single area have I lost. I respectfully disagree, but hey, I mean, I mean I, I, to each their own. Well, I, like for that. I, I, like I personally, I personally think it goes Mike, Sam, and then me. As best to worst. But Sam, Incorrect. who's the real winner here? Because Chuck chose with his heart. Chuck's got the team Did. once. I'm the real winner. Of course, no, I'm the real not. winner. I chose players I love watching him play. I did too. Even though Trey Young, actually, that was not. I don't like watching him play. But I still chose him because I thought that would be a good pick. I chose players I don't like watching. I like watching play, but I don't like watching this. Everyone, play. everyone, everyone except for him. You don't like watching Miles Turner play. I actually do. Ugh. When he gets a block, it's very enjoyable. I think a lot of Pacers fans would disagree with you. Thank you. Really? I think well, he's more so just infuriating. I watch Wendell Carter Jr. play every night, okay? Mm, that's that's fair. That's Luke Cornette fair. is the backup. Uh, that's I would, if anything, it's just subtly improving. It used to be Cristiano Felicio. Hey, don't underestimate Wait, Cristiano. I wish, I wish Daniel Gafford would. I think we should have some honorable mentions actually before we wrap up. I think honorable mentions for uh, the undrafted can be uh, Brandon Ingram. Brandon Ingram. Yeah. yeah, I don't know why we didn't pick him. Um, Lonzo and Lamelo Ball. Honestly, I thought Lamelo <laughs> was going to be one of your twelfth picks. Also, Lavar Ball. Lavar Ball. Leangelo Ball. The, the, the entire Ball family. The entire uh, Ball, including yeah. Lil Dicky. Fred L- Van Vliet. Dicky Ball. Van Vliet is an honorable mention. Westbrook, Shay. Ben Simmons. Uh, I probably know is going to pick Ben Simmons because I, th- I think we all don't like the way he plays. Randall. You know who I think is an honorable pick? I think, I think Brogdon. Brogdon. Yeah. Brogdon. I could go back. I think I'd pick Randall over Siakam. Deard, Fox, and Gildas Alexander. I didn't like the Siakam pick. I didn't like the Siakam pick. Ooh, Shea's saucy too. I like Shea. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for listening.